seen enough blood and death. I know what's coming. How are you, Sheriff? <sighs> Old. Well, in a way, it's really not uh, much different than doing a cameo. I mean, it's like you, you're in a set and you do the acting and you handle the weapons and all those things. So I think I got a great warm-up when I did Expendables, when uh, Sly gave me a, a chance to, to work for four days on Expendables, which made it look kind of like I worked for, for weeks on a movie because they shot so much footage from 6 in the morning to late at night. So then when I was finished with that, I went directly uh, then uh, to New Mexico and started shooting, uh, you know, Last Stand. I really never got the feeling like, oh my God, I have to work very hard to get back into it. I just slipped into it in a natural way and felt actually very good about being on a set and doing the scenes and uh, handling the weapons again, doing all the action, the stunts and all that. And, and then working with a very talented director with Kim Ji-Woon was also very helpful to get me into it because he was very passionate, very enthusiastic. He, when he explained the scenes with an interpreter because he's from South Korea, uh, he was always very much into acting out everything and uh, doing the stunts and showing you how to do it. Sheriff John Bannister, FBI. I have a violent fugitive making a run for the Mexican border. I'm not gonna let that guy come through our town without a fight. It's really a, a character that has been an expert with a SWAT team uh, from Los Angeles, but uh, in his years, 20 years of working with the SWAT uh, team in LA, he got shot up several times. And so he's now at an age where he felt like he should actually retire in a small town where he originally came from, uh, Summerton, we call the town. Hey, Sheriff, almost didn't recognize you in plain clothes. Well, it's my day off. Should be a quiet weekend. It's a low-key town. There's uh, him and there's three deputies, and there's not much going on. And I play the sheriff, and uh, no, no one is expecting much, nor is anyone expecting any violence in this town or anything. That's why we only have three deputies. But then all of a sudden, we realize that there is a a uh, gang of mercenaries, of the most dangerous criminals, drug lords, that are descending on our town and trying to get through our town to cross the uh, border to Mexico. We've got a cartel with heavy firepower headed towards the border. And there's a strong chance they're coming your way. And of course, no one has any confidence that we are gonna go and stop them. Nor does the FBI have the confidence that uh, we're gonna stop them. So they felt like they should just run over us and just ignore us and that they run the, the whole operation. Who the hell are you? I'm the sheriff. And so it was, it's, it's a story about being the underdog, where no one expects anything. And then on the end, me and my team and the townspeople kind of rise up to that challenge. And the movie is about what it takes to get to that point and to convince everyone to rise up, to be part of the team and not to just continue talking about, let's look the other way and let's just let them go through the town and nothing will happen and all this. And I just stand up and say, no, you know, I was born to, to fight for the rights of the people. And so I take on this huge gang of most violent uh, people with all of the guns and weaponry that they have, we are outgunned. How are we gonna go up against all that firepower? I got an idea. She's my little Nazi killer. And so that's where Johnny Knoxville comes in, who wanted to always be a deputy and be deputized, but never was because he's goofy. So I never deputized him, but now I have to because I need manpower. And I know that he's a good shooter. So I have to get all of these townspeople together and deputize them. And then we together basically confront this big gang. So it's an action movie. It's a fast-paced movie, like the Fast and the Furious in the way. It has car chases and car races, uh, but unique ones also through the cornfield, which was, of course, the most fun thing to do, to race through the cornfield with 80 miles an hour with the, with the, with the Camaro against the Corvette and then banging into uh, each other and all this. Uh, that, that was really terrific, and there's great fight scenes in there. It is some uh, comic relief, like uh, True Lies. I thought he wasn't working there. <sighs> hey, Ray, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Wow, you're looking jacked, Ray. You've been working out? Give me the damn thing. When you were doing your training, your nutrition, your supplementation to get ready for this role, did you approach it just like you used to back in your bodybuilding days when you were getting ready for one of your major contests? Well, you know, first of all, you realize that you're now a little older than uh, seven years ago or, or nine years ago when we did Terminator 3. Uh, times have changed. 
And uh, you have to prepare much better and much more. You have to work out harder. You have to do more cardiovascular training, more stretching, more warming up for the scenes. But what I noticed was that everything is possible if you prep the right way. I think we had a good stunt coordinator that knew what everyone's potential was, and I had a good time doing all the action again and doing all the stunts again. Each role is different, and so therefore you have to prepare differently. I remember that the last film we did, um, which was called Ten, it's a police drama, and there we had to again have a totally different training because there the director and the story uh, was such that you had to do so much training, tactical training, with the actual LA SWAT team and really practice with the weapons so you handle them exactly the way they are being handled by the experts. So it was besides the physical training and training with the weights, you had to kind of train for that also so that it looked totally believable. So every movie takes <coughs> kind of a different preparation. All right, so tell us, what's next for Arnold Schwarzenegger? Well, we have this movie coming out now on January 18th and um, I think that uh, people will be pleasantly surprised by the movie. And uh, then the next movie is gonna come out in the fall, um, which is The Tomb with Sylvester Stallone. Then after that, we have 10 coming out, which is in January next year. And so there's a lot of stuff. And uh, I'm very fortunate that uh, after I uh, left the governor's office, that there were so many offers and so much demand for me to do movies and so there's a lot of movies that, uh, that, uh, that I mean, in the last year I've done four movies and, uh, or since I've left office. And uh, we will be doing more movies this year and next year. And so it will continue on, including Conan and uh, the, the, the sequel to Twins, which will be called Triplets uh, and so on. So I'm looking forward to many more movies ahead. Well, we cannot thank you enough for the time that you spent with us today. Thank and uh, we look forward to seeing you in future movies. And be sure to check out The Last Stand on January 18th. And for more content like this, check out bodybuilding.com. I'm not gonna let them come through town without a fight. Very nice. Who the hell are you? I'm the sheriff. The Last Stand. Drive safely. Rated R starts January 18th.